Some employees are already playing the game and are at a high level. The more they play it, the more new information they release. While searching through some employees, I've seen new strikes and crucible maps. This is just a quick overview of the ones not heard of yet, but warning, the rest of this video will contain spoilers. The new crucible maps got me the most excited. Though there's minimal information on them so far, we can still see hints of what it will be. Firebase Delphi takes place on Mars and looks to be created by the Cabal. It has large mines around the perimeter. Whether these do something or not is unknown. The Anomaly is a base on the moon and seems like it is close quarter combat. A main circular room with firefights around a central statue. Bastion is another map taking place on Mars. By the looks of it, there's crash machinery throughout the map, with a large crash vehicle in the middle. The large rock formations will add for nice vertical fights and lines of sight. Exodus Blue is a PlayStation only experience. If you want to play this awesome map, then buckling down for a PlayStation 4 will be the best bet. It takes place on Earth, Old Russia to be exact. It looks very similar to places we are able to explore in the Alpha and Beta. From the images we are able to view, it seems close quarter with lots of cover anywhere you go. Asylum looks to be on Venus, though I didn't know Venus has cafes and cars. I'm guessing this is an academy. It'll feature close combat fighting and small objects for just enough cover while you reload. The Burning Shrine, the final new map we are able to look at. This is the only experience we are able to gain on another planet outside of the common four. It takes place on Mercury. It looks very vertical and may punish you if you are unable to make a jump from platform to platform. The bright sun in the background will also be sure to make visibility and aiming a challenge. That's all the other Crucible maps. All the ones that we know are as follows. Blind Watch, First Light, Rusted Lands, Shores of Time, Twilight Gap, Exodus Blue, Asylum, Firebase Delphi, The Anomaly, Bastion, and The Burning Shrine. After that, I took a look at the strikes, and to no surprise, the employees were playing them religiously. I came across 6 new strikes total. The Nexus is a darker strike and takes place on Venus, fighting through waves of enemies in Vex buildings to get to the main boss itself. The summoning pits is something we got to see briefly in the beta. Going up to the access doors while we were allowed on the moon gave you the location text saying, the summoning pits. Some people were able to get in this location using glitches that weren't yet fixed. At the end of the strike, you go into a vast room where the boss known as Fogoth is tied down. He's a hulking ogre looking for destruction. Winter's Run is a strike on Venus. From the picture that is given, we see this oddly shaped pod. Look familiar? It should if you remember it from past trailers. It releases a fallen boss which most likely will be the main boss at the end of the strike. Most of the enemies in this strike will be Vex, as it takes place on Venus, and Fallen from the House of Winter. Cerberus V3 will be on Mars. It, judging from the picture, it will take place in a massive Cabal base. Finally, we come to the weekly heroic strike. This week's takes place on Earth's moon. No pictures or information to go along with this. The weekly heroic strike alternates every week, giving you a new strike experience. I'm sure they will repeat sometimes, but nothing's wrong with that. Launch is approaching rapidly. Hang on tight, Guardians. 